Spurs up, Carolina fans. This is Phil Harris once again here at the Rucking Roosters show. I am joined by a very special guest this time around, Jeff Smolka, a living legend of Carolina rugby. Uh, we had some issues with your uh, your video, but we've got you here on audio. Jeff, how the hell are you? Doing great. Good, good. Tell us where you're from. Originally born in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, oh. Grew up in had my uh, elementary school years in Cleveland and then uh, we moved to Greenville South Carolina for middle school and high school went to Wade Hampton High School and um, then on to South Carolina where I discovered the game of rugby so that is your origin story with rugby you actually found it out south, at South Carolina is that correct yes yeah. um, how, how, how did that happen how did that come about um, I had joined a fraternity at USC uh, I was an Alpha Tau Omega and fraternity mm -hmm. brother Mark Rockefeller, another okay. living legend, yeah. was actually the one that asked me, uh, you know, at a fraternity party, we we're just talking and he said, you know, I see you working out and running, you know, all the time, thought about coming out and playing rugby. So I uh, got my cleats, started coming out to practice and it took me a couple of years to really figure the game out. But, mm -hmm. you know, once you, once you really start to understand it, um, you know, it becomes a lot more fun. Yeah, absolutely. What position did you play? In college, I was a hooker. Okay. Uh, play, played all four years as hooker. Um, that was a great time. I uh, had fun. Uh, and uh, my positions after college were scrum half, fly half, any utilitarian player, centers, wow. wing fullback, loose forward. So the only two positions I haven't played are uh, prop and second row. Okay. Right on. All right. Uh, what was your major at Carolina? I had a double major in psychology and statistics and a minor in anthropology. Where did that take you in your career? Uh, it, statistics, I actually got into doing quality assurance, process improvement, um, business analysis, strategic planning. Uh, I, I did eventually become a, a project management professional or a PMP mm -hmm. uh, and just do, did a lot of portfolio managing. Uh, uh, you know, through the years. Gotcha. Why did you choose the University of South Carolina? Uh, it was a fun place to go on weekends. I'll tell you the truth. The first game I went to was the Southern Cal South Carolina game. I actually started out in the uh, College of Charleston for one semester. Oh, okay. But uh, we started going up to South Carolina on the weekends. Joe Morris had Black Magic and the Fire Ant attacks all going. And yep. uh, I said, you know, I need to transfer here. And so I did. <laughs> yeah, what's interesting is my first year at Carolina was uh, Steve Spurrier's first year. So they, they talked about how much of a recruiting tool it was just for bringing regular students to have a, a legendary coach like that coaching the football team. So there's definitely something to that, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Tell us about the Jeffrey S. Smolka Endowed Scholarship Program. The Jeffrey S. Smolka Endowed Scholarship Program started in um, 2015. Uh, it was uh, something that I really wanted to do to celebrate the work that Mark Morris, Steve Darnell, and James Farrar had done. Uh, you know, basically they, you know, had really built this team up to a, the level where they could go to the collegiate rugby championships. They yep. were, um, you know, they, they had won back-to-back -back, um, SCRC uh, championships, and this is really the way we decided we were going to celebrate that uh, and their accomplishments, their commitment, and uh it's been going on now six years and we're fixing to go into our seventh year of, of the program. Wow, that's incredible. Um, you know, your commitment to Carolina rugby is really impressive uh, with the scholarship program. How many uh, students have been affected by this uh, in a positive way? So we have 31 individual students that have gotten scholarships. Some of them have gotten them for one semester. Some of them have gotten them for three years. Um, so it, it, there's a variety of uh, of, uh, of length of the scholarship uh, that, that the folks get. And it's typically dependent upon their certain circumstances or situations. Mm -hmm. If a recruit is hearing this right now, how would they get involved in this scholarship? If they wanted to be a part of this and they've chosen Carolina, how does that process work exactly? Right, so the, the program is available for students that have an established grade point average. So really it uh, starts with your sophomore year okay. at uh, Carolina. Um, that's that's just currently how the program works. Uh, and you would come out, play rugby your freshman year, press the coaches mm -hmm. and uh, you know let them know that you're interested in a rugby scholarship. And uh, we would uh, 
evaluate how much money we have in the spendable part of the endowment and mm -hmm. how many of these we, that we can give away and what the needs are. But pretty much everyone who's, um, you know, for out of state, you know, we typically have, a, um, you know, some students that are on higher uh, value scholarships that that, can't, that don't use it. Mm -hmm. um, so we typically find the uh, the uh, student that's got one of the merit scholarships uh, that uh, may only give like uh, maybe eight or fourteen thousand dollars a year. Um, our scholarship is uh, is part uh, award. There's a five hundred dollar cash award, and then if you're out of state, there is a tuition reduction that right. takes you near the uh, uh, in state value. And it just depends. Uh, you know, over the years, they've actually upped the amount of of money with the uh, tuition reduction. So okay. it, uh, it, it's a it's a big impact. Uh, we've used it with recruiting. We've had families that just really, you know, if you want to go here, OK, you got to make a 3-0 and then get your scholarship. So yeah. uh, we've and that's happened with a number of, of kids. So it's it's fun to see. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about your roles over the year after playing at Carolina, because I know that you've had a storied history and coaching involved. Can you kind of sum that up for us? Uh, coaching history. I got to be a, a player coach back in 1987-88. Uh, Tony Ferguson was our coach. Uh, he led us on many championship tournaments, including the uh, Mardi Gras tournament. When he when he left, and we had you know 13 people graduate at once, it kind of fell in my lap. So I became the uh, player coach, and uh, we you know just started with a lot of new people, went to a bunch of tournaments, learned a lot of rugby, and then. Uh, uh, the favorite part, my favorite part of it was actually beating Virginia Tech in our uh, final uh, home games. It's kind of a, a cream on top of uh, a cherry on top of the uh, dessert for my uh, college career. Very cool. But Very that was, cool. yeah, that was player coach. Um, I went up and played rugby in Greenville uh, for the Griffins. Had a mm -hmm. great time, just worked with, uh, played with John Roberts. Uh, and then my wife and I decided to move back to Columbia in 1997. Mm -hmm. uh, was an assistant coach under um was an assistant coach under uh, uh, let me come back to that but um the um i was assistant coach a couple of years head coach a couple of years had a family um and then i uh, uh you know with toddlers running around i went more into a philanthropy role with the carolina clemson blood, blood battle and was on that uh, steering committee uh, until my kids graduated and uh, have now come back out to coach. I did have a couple of stints that I uh, I was able to uh, enjoy in, in the interim back in 2008 uh, when USC moved up to Division One and Coach Mason was taking his world tour. Yep. Uh, I came in, was a, a kind of interim head coach. We beat Georgia and Florida. The uh, Later in uh, 2014, when Mark started doing really well with the team, mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I had some time to come back out and work with the hookers and work with the sevens team. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, once again, you know, my, I've got uh, kids off to college now, so I'm going back to, uh, you know, coaching again. Yeah. That's great, Jeff. I know I saw you on the sidelines uh, helping out when we uh, in the previous uh, alumni um, weekend against Alabama. I saw you with your with your clipboard out there. Um, so yeah, it's it's awesome that you've you know continued this commitment to Carolina rugby beyond your playing years and helping out with coaching and of course the scholarship program. Um, have you kept up with old teammates? Um, you know, if so, you know, talk about those bonds that you have with those guys. Yeah, I've kept up through the uh, old boys games through the years. Uh, that's been a lot of fun. Um, and I remember the coach's name now, Mark Miltner was the one that I joined in 1997. I always get his, I always go to Mark Morris. Uh, yeah. That's my first one I remember. Right. I started, all right. And they were both M&M &M and I just, all right. So, but um, <laughs> yeah, that it's, uh, it, it's been a, a really just a, a great experience, uh, you know, being able to go back and see the old boys, you know, year in, year out. Uh, and also to, you know, sometimes go on, uh, trips down to Cape Fear or uh, up to the you know CRCs and see a lot mm -hmm. of the guys. Um, yeah, it's it's been a, a really good experience. I, I really enjoy the uh, alumni weekends, even though I can't play anymore. Uh, it's it's just fun to see the boys go out there and play. Absolutely. What's your impressions of John Roberts? I know that you played with him in, at Greenville up there with the Griffins, but now he's the head coach coming back to his alma mater after uh, extremely successful stint there at Furman. What's your impressions of him? 
I really like John's uh, character development and just systematic practices. Mm -hmm. And he has this way of, you know, each practice has got to have something fun and silly to it. So we'll either have a fitness race or we'll have a challenge. Um, he does make practice just not going through the motions, but he finds a way to try to make it competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he'll set two um, sets of cones up and he'll challenge the team, whoever, you know, wins this, you know, they don't have to do burpees. But, um, <laughs> right. Um, you know, I, I think John is, is also a great coach uh, for character development mm -hmm. and also personal development. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if you see John, have a chance to see John interacting with the players, um, it's always positive, uh, uplifting, encouraging, but true. Because if he needs to tell a story, um, he, he'll, you know, guide you in the right direction uh, and, and try to pick the words to effectively, you know, lead you into a different behavior. Absolutely. He's very hands on. You know, I've, I've got to work with him on the recruiting trail, if you will, and, and also with the Board of Trustees for Carolina. I'm, I'm very impressed with John Roberts, and I believe that we're on the right path here uh, with him at the head of this entire organization as, as head coach. It's, it's really impressive to see. Uh, and I think we're going to be you know, championship contenders in the coming years, which is very exciting for Carolina rugby, for sure. Let's talk about real quick before we get you out of here, um, you know, any recruits that may be listening to this that are considering Carolina, what would you say to them? You know, if you're looking for a great rugby experience and getting a fantastic education, South Carolina is, is the place to come. I, I, you know, I, I see the students uh, uh, go on to master programs or land significant jobs with the education and the experience that they've gotten in, here at South Carolina. So it, it serves them well after their Carolina rugby days are over. It serves them extremely well while they're here because they have a lot of fun. It's, it's a good group of young men um, that really, you know, embrace the new, new faces and, uh, just a really a fun group of guys. I enjoy going on the uh, road trips with them. There's always something to laugh about. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more on that. Let's uh, do one word association before we get you out of here, Jeff. So I'm going to say one or two words. And the first thing that pops in your mind, just throw it at me. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first one is tradition. Tradition. I'd like to think about uh, Carolina's 55 year tradition this mm -hmm. year, where we're going to be celebrating you know, 55 years of, of Gamecock rugby. Um, it's, it's one of the older programs in the South. It's, it's yeah. one of the programs that's well-respected and has quite a history um, of whether it's in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. Yeah, but it, it's, it's continually uh, been a very positive program for the South. Yeah, the oldest South. club sport at Carolina. So that's definitely historic right there. Um, yes. Rugby is the next one. Rugby. I loved playing it. It was just the funnest game. Um, and, you know, playing in South Carolina, I think you're going to find that to be true with the team, with the level of skill that John's bringing the players up to and really just, uh, you know, the camaraderie that we've all have. Yes, sir. The horseshoe is next. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a, that, that's a, a, a very historic uh, area of the campus. Uh, it has a lot of, uh, uniqueness to it. Uh, I actually just read a book about the remodeling of the horseshoe uh, that was done in the uh, 70s and the 80s. And it's interesting how it had come to disrepair. And, uh, you know, the uh, University of South Carolina started a historic committee and they basically rejuvenated the, uh, the horseshoe back in the 70s and the 80s. And they tried to take it to its original um, uh, buildings, uh, uh, shape and, it, and it's 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 just a great location on campus i got to see the pope there in 1987 so mm -hmm. it, it has great memories for me very nice it's beautiful there too guys i mean it's just it's just a great place to hang out you know throw a frisbee uh sit down and on, on the grass and study it's just a, an amazing place um the next one is carolina carolina <laughs> south carolina it, <laughs> we are the carolina yes. um and um Carolina, you know, it's, as far as the university, I, once again, I have a lot uh, of positive, uh, positive things to say about the university, not only education wise, but even though it's a big university, you can find a small group like with rugby or your, your individual, uh, maybe study groups to make it much more personal. It's a big university, has a lot to offer, and it offers, you know, a lot once you get here to get involved with. 
couldn't agree more. The, the final one for you here, Jeff, is Gamecocks. Gamecocks. Um, fighting spirit is what I'd mm -hmm. say about the Gamecocks is that, um, you know, when I go and watch the team play and, you know, we look at our logo, it is that fighting Gamecocks spurs up mm -hmm. and we are on the attack. That's right. Uh, so we're going to say two words. You just said it to get out of here. And I said it at the beginning of the show. I'm going to say that, or we're going to say that rather in three, two, one, Spurs up. Spurs up. <laughs>